Today I'm going to show you how to paint some coffee to get your morning um, jump started. So again, I'm going to use my all-time favorite color, at least it has been um, the last couple paintings. This teal color is what I'm going to use for my background. You will need your light brown color, black, dark brown, and white. Um, the coffee cup can be any color you want. So I am probably going to use like a burgundy color or red or a dark blue. But it can be your choice. Um, I'm going to surprise you when I get there. So to get started, you're also going to need your 2 inch flat brush, your small round, and your medium round. And this time we're going to be using a piece of cut cardboard. All right, so let's get started. We're going to use our two inch brush and paint our background this teal color. All right, now that your background is finished, um, well, it's not completely finished, but we're finished with a teal color. So you can put this two inch brush in your water bucket or you can just set it aside. The next thing that we're gonna go to is our cardboard. And we're gonna load our cardboard up with that teal color, just along that edge. So it's really kind of hard to see that there's paint on there because the paint's basically the same color as the cardboard. But you just want to get some paint on one edge and like so. And we're just going to take and we're going to lay our cardboard flat on our canvas. From the top down, we're just going to scrape it. We're going to get some more paint on there. We're going to lay it from the top down and we're going to scrape it. We're going to do that one more time. You may have to do it more than three times depending on how big your piece of cardboard is. And this time I'm going to flip it and I'm going to scrape it from the bottom up. All right, now that we have that done, You're just going to take and you're going to scrape that extra paint off on to the edge of your tray. And we're going to do the same thing with white paint. So you can use that same edge of your cardboard that had that tan on there. And you're just going to load it up with some white paint. And we're going to do the opposite. So these two, we started from the top and went down. So now I'm going to start from the bottom and go up. And then over here, I had a lot of white paint, so I don't really need to reload. I'm going to go from the top down. I'm actually going to add just a smidge more brown. So I'm going to scrape that white off. Put some more brown on here. And I'm going to go right over here with the brown. Just 
just like so. That gives you a really cool, neat kind of effect. Um, I think I'm going to actually add a little bit of teal over top of that. So scraped all the excess paint off of my board and I'm just going to put some teal on it now. And I'm going to go right over this area where there's a lot of white and brown and I'm just going to run a thing of teal. There we go. All right, our background is finished. It is, I'm gonna smooth this out. It is the way I like it. We gotta wait for this to dry and then we will start on our coffee cup. All right, now that our background is good and dry, um, we're going to start on our coffee cup. And I'm going to draw it with chalk first. Uh, I did decide on my coffee cup color and I'm going to use this blue color. So what I've done here is I've taken a little bit of the bright blue, a little bit of a dark blue, and a little bit of black to kind of make that color. All right, so let's start with our coffee cup. We're just going to give it a basic outline. So I have done, I'm going to do my cup tilted. You can do your cup straight up and down. If you want to, it's completely up to you. Um, you can also change your background color. This one you can have a lot of fun with. So I'm just going to kind of curve this top edge of my coffee cup. Curve the bottom edge so that we are going to be able to see some coffee in here. Going to kind of curve down, and the bottom is going to be a slightly curved to set on your saucer. And we're going to do a saucer. Just like so. And then over here, we'll have our handle. Your handle is just like half of a heart. All right, now that we have this done, we are ready for our, you know, paint our cup. So again, I made this blue color, which I think is gonna be really nice. All right, now we are going to take a little bit of our bright blue and a little bit of a lighter blue. We're gonna add some contrast in here. So, I'm gonna take the two colors that I've started with. So this is this brighter blue and so basically what you want to do is um, take your base color 
and shade and tint it. So you want to make a little bit of it darker and a little bit of it lighter. And we're just going to add some dark under here where the cup sits on the saucer. Maybe a little bit of dark shadow at the bottom of the saucer. We're going to add some dark and I'm just adding black to the color that I have. I'm going to add some dark coming down the sides and kind of right underneath that coffee lip, like the edge of the coffee. And and if it's too dark, go back in with your your base color. All right, now that I've added some dark, I'm going to wipe the dark off. And I'm going to go in with the light. And again, I'm just added white, a little bit of white to this light color. And we're just going to add some light color down here. We're going to add some lighter color through the middle of the coffee cup. And then with your small round brush, you're gonna add some light on your cup handle. You're also gonna add a little bit of that dark. On your cup handle. I'm going to add a little bit of that light around that top rim. And I'm actually going to go back in with just a teeny bit of white. And if it's too white, just go back over it with your base color. I'm going to add just a little bit Alright, there is our coffee cup. Now, with your medium round brush, you are going to take that dark chocolate brown that you have and we're going to paint our coffee. So right in here, be very careful your blue is still wet or whatever color you chose to make your coffee cup. With that lighter brown, I'm going to come in here and just going to add like little swirls. All right, there is our 
coffee cup. Now we're gonna write, I am gonna write the word coffee across the top here. You can do it across the top, you can do it across the bottom, you can do but first coffee. I'm just gonna do coffee. All right, so let's do our lettering. Again, I'm gonna use chalk just because it's hard for me to paint anyways. So if I have an outline, it's a little bit easier. So I'm gonna write coffee in cursive and I'm just gonna come up here and I'm gonna That'll give me kind of an outline to work with. It's not the best outline, but it's better than nothing. And I'm gonna use white, and I'm going to use my small, I'm gonna pull this closer, and I'm gonna use my small round brush. You can use uh, the coffee color, so you can use like a dark brown if you wanted to. Um, if you do it in white and you don't like the white, you can always go back over it with a darker color. But if you start with the dark brown and you decide you don't like it in the dark brown, you really can't fix it. So if you're undecisive, start with white. All right, I'm gonna put a little thing of steam coming up. Like so. All right, we are finished. Um, if you want us to keep bringing you amazing pieces of art, um, hit the like and subscribe button. Check back every day. We're adding new things all the time. Um, check us out on Facebook and our Instagram page at painting.with.a.purpose. Um, we also have some really cool swag, um, that is on our Facebook page, so you should check that out too. Thanks for painting with me today. See you next time.